<clears throat> okay, good. Everything seems to be going all right. Hopefully enough. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and get a... Here we go. Hopefully enough, everything's going good. <clears throat> so, um... If you don't know, I like pistols. Well, CO2 blowback pistols, anyway. And when I heard that they made a Beretta, uh, when I found out that they actually did have uh, CO2 blowback versions of 22 pistols that I actually do like, sadly not the Ruger Mark IV. I wish they had a Ruger Mark IV 22 blowback, but or at least a gas blowback version of the Ruger Mark IV 22 because that was my first actual handgun as a child. <laughs> Loved it to death. But either way, so yeah, we held a poll recently. Asking you guys what gun I should review next. We had the Faber, Faber, Fabier tri shot shotgun. We had the Double Eagle L85. And then, of course, the, well, M87 Archer gas blowback. Well, that came in, actually. It was supposed to come in tomorrow, but that came in early. So, yeah. I got it early, boys and girls. This is the box, of course, that it comes in as a Win Gun M87, when in reality it's based off of a 22 target pistol, which is used in competition and is called the Beretta Target. But aside from that, what I really got to commend Evike on is just the amount of stuff you get in the box. At least the package, anyway, because besides the box, it's beside the, the gun itself, you also get a cool poster of a, air, a famous airsoft, I think, named Judy. Uh, if anyone can actually let me know if, th if this person's still playing, that'd be awesome. You also got an airsoft field guide. Well, I also got an airsoft field guide, which I thought was actually really cool. I love that I got this. This is actually really, really nice. Evike, you've stepped up your game, and I love it. Keep If you do this with all your packaging, you'll probably get a lot more repeat customers. But what's really cool about it is, besides the box itself being really nice, and believe me, it's a really nice box... You also get a... this. Actually, kind of cool. I love that they actually do basically tell you, yeah, this is basically a smaller version of the Beretta. And... It, it's not just the Beretta itself, it's also showing you that this is basically the Beretta Cougar. Which, the Beretta Cougar is basically their slimmer, more cut-down version of the Beretta. I believe the Cougar is chambered not only in 9mm Parabellum, but I think it's also uh, chambered in 32 ACP. And for those of you who don't know what ACP is, it's uh, automatic uh, auto cartridge uh, pistol or automatic cycling pistol. It, it's one of those things. Either way, though, I really do like it. As for the gun itself, let me tell you, this is a pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, the pistol itself it's actually pretty cool. And sad to say, there is no threading on the barrel. No threading, sad to say. But then again, it's not meant to be a super tactical pistol. No, this is replicating a pistol that is used in competition uh, shooting. More or less, this is a competition pistol. It's got a fully ambidextrous slide safety. It's got fully ambidextrous safety, which is your slide lock base, uh, which is not only your trigger safety, but also your slide safety. The magazine release is right here, and it fully replicates the Cougar to a T, because the Beretta target pistol is just a 22 caliber Cougar with a massive barrel shover, or a massive block right here of metal, um, illuminated iron sights, and the ability to basically let you put on your favorite red dot, so when you're actually going through different stages, you can actually fully do that. Speaking of the gun itself, I really do like how good it is, how good it feels to actually fully transition magazines because the magwell itself is actually somewhat semi flared. I say semi because it's not completely flared out, but it's in there well enough. Aside from it being completely CO two and it being a blowback, it fully does replicate a twenty two to a T. Because here's the thing, guys. The most common complaint I see about this gun is the fact that it doesn't have a full blowback. Here's the thing. This is based off of a 22 LR. Literally, a 22 does not have a long slide 
it does not need to travel very far in order to eject the shell. This is legitimately how far back a legitimate 22 has to go in order to basically eject out the shell. So the fact this is replicating a short slide is actually really good. Now, the only other complaint I got of this gun, well, it's not that it's not a double action because I actually checked and saw and found out the real steel itself is not a double action pistol either. It is a single action pistol, but it's the actual travel time you have to go to before... Hold on. That, and when you actually do... Let me just go ahead and bring it up to you. Let me just go ahead. There's your reset right there. Very short reset. And you're probably wondering about this. This is the actual mag... And this is the first time I'm seeing this. Or at least, I think this is also on the real steel? Again, I think. Don't... Don't quote me on this, because I don't think this is an actual feature on the real steel beret target. This is a... In the most basic sense I can give, a magazine ejecting assist... Assistant mechanism. M-E-A. M. I guess that's what I could call it. Either way, though. But yeah. Outside that, this is actually a pretty confidently well-built handgun. Then again, it's a wind gun. And the fact that this is only 70 bucks... That's wood shipping and handling, mind you. Or if you use the free shipping code, it's just 70 bucks because taxes, of course. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very confident handgun, and I cannot wait to take this home and actually plank some uh, Antifa targets, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm actually curious to see how this thing performs, and it's just too fun to actually do that. Oh, and the magazine itself, uh, if you guys think it will take other CO2 Beretta mags, no, because it will take specifically wind gun magazines that are designed like this, which, from what I could see, apparently wind gun also works with GNG on some of their CO2 guns. So, I guess you could say that GNG magazines, GNG CO2 mags will also work uh, with this, but then again, don't, don't hold me to that, but I do like this. This is actually really cool, and I love the way the mag is designed in general to where it's easy to lock so you can put BBs in there. Overall, I think this is actually a really good gun, and I'm gonna try and find a Cougar Upper, a CO2 Cougar Upper, to see if I can't uh, replace the massive compensator, uh, the massive competition right here, and replace it with a uh, regular Cougar Upper. But yeah, let me know in the comments section what you guys think, and... I want to also know as well if I'm not the only one whose first handgun was the Ruger Mark 22, but uh, was your first handgun a 22? And have you actually ever owned the real steel Beretta target pistol? And how faithful does this actually replicate to that? Let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, as always, I've been Airsoft Al. And fuck the AK review. We ain't doing the AK review. No, we are doing this next on Airsoft Al reviews. This is the next gun I'm reviewing. Till next time.